Hello, and greetings to our subscribers all over the world. My family and I appreciate each and every one of you. Yay! We have 500 on board. Now I can get a community page to set up and announce things for ourselves and the community and help others. We look forward to having a giveaway here in July in the next couple of weeks. The date will be announced, so if you haven't already, you need to subscribe and put on your notifications. This is starting back when we initially started the community garden. My friends took me to get the wood, they built my raised beds, they planted it, everything for me. There's a chair around here somewhere, you'll see, where I sit it most of the time and pass out the water. I did hand broadcast the pollinators by myself. We planted a lot of vegetables. I like flowers. There were no perennials here yet, so I put a lot, a lot of pollinators out there. Had a great variety of vegetables. This is either broccoli or collards. You saw tomatoes, more pollinators. Oh, and aren't these black-eyed Susans just really, really pretty? Year two is when we prepped for the containers, put cardboard down first underneath, I, I mean, underneath the tall planter and put a little rug down. I put holes in containers with a soldering iron. I put a white dot on one side of the iron because I'm totally blind in my left eye and I didn't want to accidentally pick up the wrong end of a hot instrument. These are some of the buckets I put holes in. The tiered planters, which of course I immediately knocked over so I don't stack them more than two or three high. More of my friends and helpers, other crops, larger tomatoes, slicers that you see. Now you see the containers with mulch and other things to keep the weeds down. My onions did really well. These are potatoes. Grew a lot of different herbs. These are three liter self deep waterers that were a DIY project. I will need to do a video on that. Here are two different types of blueberries, fresh lettuce straight from the garden, spearmint. I put away dehydrated and preserved a lot of herbs and pickles last year. This year we're at now at year three you can see I have strawberries planted. Thank you, Bulls Garden. I planted all that you sent me. There's broccoli out there. Several people sent seeds. I thank you all. One neighbor trapped the groundhog that ate all of my food last year. This year, we're going to start doing more arts and crafts these are some totes made of fabric, made of feed sacks and grain bags that you have left over. It's easy to convert them into heavy duty bags. If it held 50 pounds of food, guess what? It'll hold 50 pounds after you make a bag out of it that's easy to carry. This is a simple four patch quilt. We'll be doing rag quilts as well, making rag rugs, this is a quilt that was made and donated to a veteran. As you know, freedom is not free. He was in his late 90s here when the quilt was presented to him. This is another quilt. This one of African fabrics. I like African fabrics and batiks along with other fabrics. A mud cloth bag. We will be doing some painting. This is a form of wearable art. This is a sweatshirt jacket. I took an old, uh, no, an, actually a new sweatshirt, put fabric on it. You can use any type of fabric you like. 
Here's a painting I made of some daylilies. I like those a lot. Here is a quilt, a very large one, spread on my mom's dining room table. I handmade a cedar wood clock. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the time you spent. Please come again. Ego Amote, love you. Peace, love, and blessings. Aliyu, sayonara. Ciao, Arriva Durchi. Peace, love, and blessings. Come back again. Bye.